What's going on everybody? So today we're gonna to be doing a review of the M5 Stick C Plus 2 dev board. Um, I picked it up on Tindy. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. Um, but essentially what it is, it just it's a hassle-free way to, to add a CC1101 module or an NRF24 module to you know be used with Bruce firmware on your stick. Uh, it just makes everything look a lot cleaner, a lot easier to use. Uh, right here is the uh, CC1101. And then this one is the NRF24. I don't know if you guys can see, it's upside down, but uh, yeah, it didn't help much, but you can see it's reckoning an e-byte uh, chip, which I love to see, okay? Uh, the device itself is roughly around eight US dollars, uh, and each module is roughly $10. Uh, and then shipping is probably another 10. So expect to pay close to around 40 US dollars for everything in total. Um, I did pay for the screws as well, but we'll talk about that in a second. But here you can see uh, we have the GPIO pins that sit nicely. They plug right into, they slide right into the top of the, uh, the device itself. Uh, you've got your eight pin here for your modules uh, and then your nice capacitor, okay? On the back, you have a four pin Grove connection here that plugs in to the four pin Grove right there. All right, so it's really clean. Uh, I have tape here because this wire is too long. And so I tried to keep it as clean as possible. I have a shorter five centimeter cable on the way, but for now, this works just fine. Um, but you also have the M5 screws that you can purchase separately as well. Um, that just make this a little bit more snug to the board and a little bit more secure. But for everything else, this the quality on this board is really, really nice, okay? Um, when, especially when you're running it with Bruce. Uh, let's see, so we've got the NR, the, actually we have the CC1101 board on, so we can do that. And I'll just do real quick a spectrum so that you guys know it works. Since I don't really have anything running in my surroundings. I'm just gonna use my flipper to send a signal and you can see right there that it's working, okay? So that's the CC1101. So let me get out of that so that I'm not messing up any of my boards. And let's pop in the NRF24 and then we'll go to the NRF. And so this one here will run an RF jammer. And there we have it. So if, if it wasn't reading it, it would say NRF 24 not found. But in our case, it is found super easy, no hassle at all. Um, and as you can see, we have the NRF jammer status is active and running full. So this will be all of the 2.4 gigahertz uh, jamming signals, Bluetooth, uh, Wi Fi remote control, things like that. Okay, super easy, very, very user-friendly, all right? I started this with a higher percentage battery. The batteries suck on this M5 stick. I'll say it every single time. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, that's just a quick overview of the, of the dev board itself. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description below or in the comment section below. And, uh, again, I'll leave all the links to all the stuff in the description. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys like subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.